Okay, we're gonna winterize the Sea-Doo boat. Uh, this is the third season I've done it, so I think I've gotten it right, and then we'll throw a cover a tarp on it after. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stabilize the fuel. My dad taught me, and I double-checked with the internet, you gotta keep your fuel tanks full, especially in cold climates. So we filled the fuel tank, we put in enough stabilizer for the fuel stabilizer, and so I'm gonna run the stabilizer through, but at the same time as I'm running the stabilizer through, that's, so that's the first step, stabilizer. The next step is then we're going to put antifreeze, or RV coolant through, or uh, RV antifreeze, if you may, through the intercooler engines. And then what we'll do is then we'll fog and then we'll tarp and that's it. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna stabilize the fuel because I need to run this through. So we're roughly, I need 500 mils of this. So we're gonna go down to 330. Yeah, 100 mils, let me make sure. 100 mils for 30 liters of gasoline is 160 liters. Seven hundred. Okay, so stabilizing is done. Actually, I'm gonna shake my boat around a bit. Give it a good push, and then we'll. That's not a really good place to do it. Mix it up in the tank. Probably easier to do this on the water before you take it out. So I'm gonna run it for a few minutes. To run this RV fluid through the intercoolers, what you're gonna need the simplest way is to have. Let's go. We'll start here. So we have the RV cooler stuff. We have our little electric pump, battery. I'll take that off because I just did it. And then like in the manual it shows, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the antifreeze through the through a quick connect through the intake, the water intake. And we'll put that quick connect on there. Boom. And then what we're going to do, so I've run it through already, and then we're going to take our air compressed, compressed air and rinse all that out of there. I'm not sure if that's completely necessary, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so just what that hose is, I was editing the video and it's not really clear what this hose is. So I've taken a garden hose, an old one that somebody was throwing out. I have the male end, and this screws right in, this can screw right into the into the back of the boat for the water intake, but it's easier just to use this quick, quick connect. So that just goes on there like any other normal quick connect. And then what I was, let's try to get that on there. Anyways, do so you have any idea if you've, use these before so that goes on there and then this goes into the boat like that and then that clicks in here so what I was doing was on the other end I've got a male end for the air compressor and then this just connects into your regular air compressor but it just so coincides with the same diameter for the pump tubing so it worked out actually really well so I just put that on there to pump the RV coolant stuff which i guess is better for the environment because it's not like regular antifreeze so that connects on there and that runs through there and then when i was connecting my air compressor i just pull that off and put the air compressor on there so it makes it a lot simpler this is in the cd manual actually how to fabricate this i'm gonna do the right engine first so i'm going to take this quick adapter and i'm going to screw it onto this this is the water intake and this is a twin so of course i drop it <clears throat> So I'm going to screw that on there. And the way the system, way you're supposed to do it, if you look in the manual, there's lots of other videos online. You start the engine first, then we start pumping this stuff through and you'll see it come out the exhaust. So we're going to simply, actually that's all right. Okay, so that's connected. It's a really easy way to do it instead of trying to connect with the other line. If you want to take it off, it's just like that. You can even loosen up a bit. There we go. And then we'll start it up. We're gonna do one engine at a time, so let's start it. There we go. Run down. All right, so it's running. And we're gonna run this through now. Turn this on. Pumping it up. Smell it. Off 
back up and kill the right one. And we'll repeat for the other one. Okay, I live in the cold, so recommend we fog. So I'm gonna fog each one of these cylinders. But before we do that, or as well, what we need to do is we need to run the engine. So I've been trying to film this three years in a row and it's really tough. I'm gonna run the engine and we have to tie the throttle. So this actually, this little lever gets tied. This little thing here is tied back. So I actually have you can see there's a strap there and what I'll do is I'll take a wire and I'll tie that back. So what happens is it goes into like a camera wet mode. So then it doesn't run fuel into cylinders. Okay, here we go. So I just a random zip tie bracket or hanging on to some zip tie. And I think this is a limp mode. So what we're going to, it's maybe not limp mode, but it cuts the fuel. So I'm going to tighten this. That's good enough, it's all the way over. And then when we start the engine, we're good. It won't put fuel into cylinders. Okay, so I fogged the other engine, let's do this one. So the first thing is we're gonna take the pistons, or the cylinder pistons. We're gonna take the uh, spark plugs out. So we'll use this, a really handy tool. Out they come, we'll check to see how they're burning. Looks good, pop that off. And we'll do the next one. <clears throat> Oh, it comes off. Okay, so there's a cylinder. We're gonna spray this for. Go there. Five. To ten. It says five seconds, so we'll do the same thing here. That's good. There, we're gonna get them coated. Bueno, bueno. Just put a little bit more. And I guess what happens is this forms. I thought about using regular oil, but what this does is this fogging oil, this is not the BRP stuff. I keep dropping the cans and breaking the knob off, so I say forget it. So what it does is forms a sticky coat that burns off um, burns off when you start up the, the boat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a cloth on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the cylinders without with no fuel going. So we'll start it from here. Actually turn the power on. So we'll start with the left. The cloth is just to keep the, you'll see. That's it there. So that's the right one. And then we'll run the left one. And that's it. So, we'll turn that beeping off. Okay, so now, I think that was limp mode. That's what that beeping is. So now what we'll do is we'll put the spark plugs back in. I've had the boat for three years and I don't know, these are the original spark plugs. These are the ones I just put in this past season. Somebody said use old ones. I don't know if it makes a damn difference. Use old ones when you, so when you burn off the fog, I really don't think it matters, but. All right, so now we're fogged. It's a really simple procedure, not that hard. We'll put our spark plugs back in. And then take a battery out. I see some water here actually I gotta get rid of because it's gonna freeze. It was raining like crazy. You can see that water there. I'm gonna somehow dry that in the next few days. And then we're going to tarp it. And then essentially that's done. I check the coolant. It's at a good level. Mm, let's see, that should be a good level. Yep, that's a good level there. That's replaced. And the fuel tank's full. 
I filled it myself.